All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome to IGTV. Uh, with us this morning is Ite Mayer, uh, Head of Knowledge Delivery at RSA Fraud Action Research Lab um, over in Israel. Uh, Ite, I just want to make sure, am I pronouncing your name correctly? It's Itai, but <laughs> I'm good with both ways. <laughs> Itai, it is then. Well, look, we've got a, uh, a brand-new Trojan out there, um, and it's... Uh, this ICE-9 written over Zeus, um, you know, let's get into that a little bit. What, what, can you, what did uh, RSA Labs discover about, uh, about the Trojan? Well, I think before we even talk about the ICE-9 specifically itself, we have to remember it's, it's a Zeus variant. So a little bit of history for just one second. Uh, Zeus uh, is a very popular, probably the most uh, popular Trojan out there for financial institutions, targeting financial institutions as well as other institutions which, uh, um, are targeted. Um, what's interesting about Zeus is it was very popular, and then at some point SpyEye, a new competitor, turned up, and they started competing. After about a year of competition between the two, uh, it was announced that they will be merging. Right after uh, the, the announcement of the Zeus and Spire merger, which was pretty surprising considering the fact that they are two, uh, uh, two competitors, um, we have seen uh, the Zeus source code uh, leaked. Uh, this is uh, another interesting thing that happened. Why would somebody leak uh, uh, such, such a, a great piece of knowledge? I mean, you can make a lot of money out of this. And our suspicion is that this was leaked uh, due to the fact that the owner of the new code, which is the SpyEye coder, uh, decided to kind of kill the market for Zeus in preparation for its uh, super Trojan, the merged Trojan. After uh, this happened, uh, we anticipated, and as well this happened, that um, the new, there will be new variants out there based on the uh, source code that was leaked. And one of the variants that we're talking about is this ICE-9. Um, it's not a totally new Trojan. It's uh, it's based off on the uh, Zeus uh, leaked code. Uh, now a little bit into Ice Nine. So at first analysis, it looked very promising. Um, the the code uh, writer itself said that it will offer uh, significant changes, including things uh, that will allow the people who run this Trojan to actually use. Uh, legitimate servers and not use what we call bulletproof hosting facilities, which are servers owned and operated by fraudsters, to uh, run his operations, which is pretty interesting. He also offered several other features inside uh, a lot of promises uh, as to the source code. Now, uh, we have actually done an, uh, an in-depth analysis of ICE-9. We broke it down to pieces, we reversed it, and surprise, surprise, turns out that uh, the code itself is, if I remember the numbers correctly, 98.6% exactly the same as the original code. So something very, very similar to what was actually out there already. Uh, the code itself is offered for, the Iceland Trojan is offered for $1,800, which is, well, it's not a lot of money when it comes to uh, uh, the things it's promised, but it is a lot of money considering the fact that it's almost identical to what you can receive uh, for free out there today. Um, just to give you an example of, of what we've seen when we analyze the code, there are about 400 functions that make up the uh, uh, Zeus Trojan. Out of those 400 functions, only 10 were changed in this Trojan. Uh, five were modified, two were added, and three were removed. So it's not really a big change. And if you want to hear something very funny about this code, is the fact that the, tr the person who wrote it actually made a mistake, a pretty big mistake, and this Trojan now actually has a memory leak, which is something you don't want to have on your if you're running a Trojan. It will make it uh, uh, pretty easy to identify and to handle once it's infecting your systems. So this Trojan, due to one of the mechanisms uh, that the fraudster added, now has a memory leak. So I wouldn't say it's, some, it's going into where it's promising, uh, what it promised, it, act, it actually kind of moved backward in its development. Well, it's, it's very interesting, uh, Itai. Um, when we come back after this commercial, we're going to get a, a little bit more into Ice-9 and the impact on Zeus and black market sales. So uh, if you can come back to us in just uh, two seconds, uh, we're going to play a short commercial, and then we'll be right back with the impact. 
We'll uh, be right back after this message.